So, accident or murder? An Auburndale man is dead after an argument with a co-worker in a restaurant parking lot. A punch led to a deadly fall. It happened outside of Floridino's restaurant in Winter Haven. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is joining us live tonight from the police department. And I understand the uh, family, the friends there, they want to the, make sure that the, uh, someone's held accountable when it comes to the victim's uh, death here, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Stephen Bradley Smith died from hitting his head on the pavement. Now, the man that threw that deadly punch is telling police that it was all in self-defense. Those who knew the victim, they aren't buying it. It started as an evening out with co-workers and ended with one of them dead. Well, I think the entire community is a little bit heartbroken over it. Four co-workers stopped at Floridino's restaurant Friday night, a usual dinner spot for the group. But this time, the conversation got a little heated. Got into a little bit of a disagreement about work. It's still nothing too serious, or so it seemed. When they left, two of the co-workers walked out first, followed by Stephen Bradley Smith and Omar Marrero. According to Mr. Marrero, he tried to make amends with our victim, um, and as he did try to make amends, uh, the, the victim reportedly slapped his hand away. Marrero tells police he punched Smith and he fell to the ground. He's claiming self-defense. He is claiming self-defense. The other two co-workers heard and ran to help. And what did Mr. Marrero do? He left. He left the scene. He uh, was, he told our detectives that he was in fear that they were going to attack him. A family friend of Smith's who didn't want to be identified reached out to News Channel 8, a plea for justice. Other friends who knew him are just as puzzled. Well, he's definitely a very genuine person he was, and he was very quiet and reserved, so it was very shocking, I think, um, to a lot of people to hear that this happened. And With no other witnesses, police have their work cut out for them. Because they've lost their loved one, and our heart goes out to them. Um, it is our duty to make sure that every T is crossed and every I is dotted because we don't have an independent witness. Police tell me they are working to interview everyone that was at the restaurant that night. They also plan to interview Marrero again. Keith. Do we know anything else about Marrero? Any troubled past with the law? So we researched. We found in 2013 he was arrested for aggravated battery on a pregnant woman. And Melissa Marino reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.